coming where I'm from, you get nowhere just being humble. Skinny nigga, I go Godzilla. I been a shit. I climb from the bottom of a pit if I had to. Never burn bridges that'll lead to a castle. Living like you bulletproof till that bullet blast you. Nigga. You are now tuning in live to the motherfucking boy D White TV, you feel me? These niggas is cutting the grass and sawing shit at the same time. I wanna Bitch, if you don't get the fuck away from my nigga. Hold up, I'm about to run a nigga fade this. It, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bling blow. Ooh, chains on skateboard piece. Skr -skr. Okay, I got a couple questions from why dot did. You got another name on your shit, brother? No, you didn't. Why dot did said would you react to subscribers music for a price I, I'll make you a reaction video for $20 like uh, we can uh, DM me uh, he'll be on snap whatever we can exchange information you throw me the 20 I, I promise you I'll make a reaction video for you so for any of my subscribers out there if you make music and you want you know what I'm saying exposure to a bigger audience than you have for a small fee I got you I'll tweet the link out, you feel me? I'm putting it on my YouTube page. I'm telling people I just uploaded a video on my Snapchat. All that. So, yeah, I definitely would react to his subscribers' music. And he got a second question. Who got better bars, Kendrick or XXXTentacion? Get it because he was locked up. That's... It was funnier when I read it the first time, but it still wasn't funny. But this time, it just wasn't funny at all. Uh, that was a bad joke, brother. You need to go back to the drawing board on that one. Silva, John Silva, 25, that's his actual name on here if you want to add him. Uh, Silva said, why you start a YouTube channel? Because I always looked up to YouTubers when I was younger. Like, I didn't look up to the people on TV. I never, I mean, I did want to be on TV, but I feel like YouTube is a platform that you can make for yourself. And you can be your own boss. You can make whatever content you want, you feel me? You, you do what you want, you, you make your own content. And I got a very creative mind, so I don't even make all the stuff that I want to yet, but the more confident I get in what I can do, and the more resources that I begin to have, I'm definitely gonna start like expanding my content, and it's just gonna be dope. I don't know, I just always wanted to be a content creator because I grew up watching content creators, and this shit was dope to me. Like, I used to watch I used to watch skits all the time on YouTube, and I'm, I want to be a part of the generation of people to bring skits back on YouTube because they used to be hilarious. I and mean, because my Snapchats are always funny, so I felt like YouTube was a place to where I could put more content out there and it will spread to a bigger audience. Because, I mean, people can find you on YouTube. People not just finding you on Snapchat unless somebody show you the person on Snapchat, you feel me? And the second question is, how many bitches have you fucked? I ain't fucked no bitches, okay? If you fucking dogs out here, female dogs, you nasty. Don't put your dick in no dog, that's nasty. Leave that dog alone, let a dog hump a dog. If you out here humping dogs, you fucking sick. Stop watching my YouTube channel. Nasty bastard. Next question. <laughs> Cash out. Oh, this is my man's uh, Kodak on here. He probably gonna comment down below. Shout out Kodak. The question is, all the places you've traveled to. I've been to Canada. That's the only place out of the country I've been, but I've been to damn near every state on the East Coast. So let me think. Um, Ohio, Indiana, um, New York, fucking Maryland, Virginia, Washington, D.C., uh, West Virginia, Tennessee, Alabama, uh, Arkansas, Georgia, uh, Florida, where else? Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Las Vegas, so Nevada. Um, did I say Northern South Carolina? I don't think I did. Um, uh, New York, New Jersey, um, I said Arkansas, I'm pretty sure, mm, Kentucky, um, oh, and Texas, Texas, and 
think I wanna say that's it. I done been to a lot of states. Most of the states on the East Coast besides like Massachusetts and Rhode Island and Maine and those states. But other than that, I've been to all the coast, all the states on the East Coast. Yeah, those are the places I've been. I wanna go other places and I definitely wanna go out the country. My girlfriend gets mad at me because she, she don't even care about traveling in the US. She just figures like that's, that's gonna happen. But I want to travel to the U.S. before I go outside of my country, you feel me? I want to know where I'm from before I know somewhere else. Oh, by the way, I'm from Michigan, so that's why I didn't say Michigan, but yeah. Yeah, I want to, I want to know my country before I go to other countries, but my girlfriend, she wants to go everywhere around the world. And I do too, but you feel me? I'm just trying to conquer America first. Alright, next question from my boy Carmel Prophecy. If you want to add him, that's his name. But his uh, name that, I, that pops up on my shit is so. So rap, so rap, so rap, so rap. I don't know how to uh, pronounce it correctly. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. But uh, he got he had a couple questions and they was all good ass questions. All right. First question: Which is scarier, being lost in deep space by yourself or being lost in the deep ocean by yourself? Um, scarier in space. Or Basically, which is scarier, being lost in the middle of space by yourself or in the middle of the ocean by yourself? I would say in the middle of space by myself just because, like, I don't know no niggas here. Like, I don't know no niggas that ever been here. Like, I, I at least I know niggas got a chance to come, you feel me, swoop me up in the ocean. I might see a cruise ship, just just a 0.2% a, a chance. If you in space, nigga, ain't, nigga, niggas ain't just going in space, you feel me? Like... It's about 20 niggas in space, you feel me? Some is some are on satellites and some is on a spaceship somewhere doing some other shit, you feel me? Like the chances are slim to none of me getting found in space. Like I can't I can't breathe in space, you feel me? If I run out of oxygen, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I can't I don't even got gravity in space, my nigga. Like at least I can sit down, you feel me, not float away if I'm in the middle of the ocean. Um you know what I'm saying? I can get real, real, uh, cave. I can get real caveman with it, you feel me? And God, give me a fish, eat that bitch raw. I got sushi in the middle of the ocean, you feel me? You in the middle of the ocean, you feel me? You can't do that in space. In space, hopefully I get lucky and find some alien niggas and they cool, you feel me? And take me in, you know what I'm saying? And we'll be homies. Or they'll eat my brains. You feel me? I don't want to. I don't want to take that risk. You feel me? I'd rather take the risk of getting eaten by a shark in the middle of the ocean. Why would I be bleeding in the middle of the ocean? I don't know. But why would I be in the middle of the ocean? You feel me? These niggas is cutting the grass and sawing shit at the same time. I want, bitch. If you don't get the fuck away from my nigga. Hold up, I'm about to run a nigga fade in this bitch. Yeah, nigga. See, I get respect around this bitch. I just hit myself hard. <clears throat> but yeah, basically, I can get my brain eaten in space possibly or die of suffocation because there's zero oxygen. Or I can be in the middle of the ocean, possibly get some sushi. And possibly if I get cool with a whale, you feel me? Catch a rod on that nigga back, and I'm cool. I got space to run around, you feel me? I can do push-ups on a whale back. It's you, you, most definitely scarier to be lost in deep space. Uh, second question, Prime B. Rose or Prime John Wall? That is a hard ass fucking question. Ugh. I would have to say... Cause like, John Wall is in his prime right now. And we don't even know if we seen D Rose prom prom because he was still hella young when that happened. And he was the MVP, but John Wall, not the MVP, but he could be back then. But right now, niggas is just great. Um, I'm gonna go with prom John Wall just because John Wall got a little bit of a jump shot on him, just a little bit, enough of a jump shot on him. You feel me to where he can hit a game winner. I don't, I don't remember D Rose shooting that many game winners. He hit one, but it was some fluke shit. Um, John Wall can get you double digit assists. You feel me every night? Uh, he can get you hella steals. He played defense. 
Uh, basically, he can shoot that bitch a little bit. Like, that's the only edge I got over it because other than that, they the same. And D-Rose is way more, like, explosive jumping-wise. And, but I don't know if he quicker. I don't know because D-Rose was fast, but John Wall fast, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go John Wall. I'm going to go John Wall solely because he has the best and I don't care what you say it's like probably close to Austin Rivers but John Walls is still the best high school hoop mixtape ever point black and that's why I'm going with John Wall off top oh and his last question is you got two options all right one no sloppy toppy for nine years or no music for five years oh we got two questions all right so the first question is no sloppy toppy for nine years or no music for five years no music for five years, brother. I can hum to myself. You feel me? That no, that shit ain't even cool. Yeah, definitely. I don't even need music if no. What? <laughs> um. And two, bad bitch, but she flatter than wood or ugly bitch with a thick ass and a mustache. I'ma go bad bitch that's flatter than wood. Cause you feel me? I don't, I don't need no bitch with a mustache, you feel me? But like, I barely got a mustache, so if her mustache is thicker than mine, I gotta question myself, and people gonna be questioning me like, your girl mustache bigger than yours? Is that your girl, or is that your nigga? You feel me? I don't even need questions like that in, about anything that I'm doing, you feel me? So I'm good, you dig? I'm good, I'll take the wood bitch, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with a wood bitch. <laughs> All right, next question from my mans. Oh, this is a girl. Her name is, I want to say it's a girl. It's either a dude or a it, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Justine AA69. So I don't know if it's Justine Nuz 69 or Justin from Ann Arbor 69. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, the question is, you ever fuck two bitches at once? What is up with y'all fucking dogs, man? You niggas is nasty. Dog sex is not cool. Uh, no, I haven't had a uh, threesome before. Shout out to all my niggas that don't had threesomes, though. I live vicariously through y'all. Can War V. Can, can War? Can War? Asked, why are you so hot? She told me that her cousin asked that question just on her snap. Um... Cause I don't got the fan on in here. Um, JT the Beast Three. Where do you see yourself in a year, subscriber wise and personally? Subscriber wise in a year. All right, I started in February of 2017. Well, I didn't start in February of 2017, but I started like taking it serious and upping my video quality in February of 2017. And I'm at 4,000 right now. When I started out, I was at 40 subscribers. I was at like 40 subscribers. Probably not even there. I think I was at like 20 or 30. Something like that. So I've come a long way. February, March, April, May, June. Four months. 4,000. So 12 months from now. I, so 12 months from now. I would say 20K. 20k would be a, a good goal shit I want to get to 100k by next year because it's actually it's really possible like people blow up like quick as hell so 20k is a reasonable goal but shit 50k that's like the goal I really want to reach and personally I just don't want to have my pockets hurting for shit like that's the only thing in my life that holds me back from being like all the way happy all the time is the fact that i don't have money like i wish i did and just to not be living in michigan and just to have a, a solid following on social media as well as youtube and uh yeah i just want to be like an influencer honestly i want to have a podcast by this time next year that's one thing i do really want to have i want to have a podcast um yeah I don't know, I just, I, me personally, I feel like I'm a pretty dope person. People tell me that I'm a pretty dope person, though, so I just want the world to, you feel me, know that I'm a pretty dope person. All right, my man's Aiden Meyer from Kansas. I can't remember what town you're from, bro, but you know I fuck with you. Who's your favorite rapper who still puts out music? Favorite rapper who still puts out music? I like how you're specific on that one. Favorite rapper that puts out music right now? 
two chains between two chains and Wiz that's been out and that still puts out music because you know how people stop. It's between two chains and Wiz because two chains was so underrated to me and his personality. If you watch, if you ever watch like a two chains interview or something like that, like. You will see like what I'm talking about with his personality. Like his personality is almost as big as his rapping ability, and that's just super dope to me because that's the type of personality I would like to have. Just like E40, like I don't even fuck with E40 music like that. But if I watch, e but ever since I watched one E40 interview and just seeing what type of person he was and the type of businessman he was and how smooth he was, I always fuck with E40 the long way. Um. Same goes with Snoop, same goes with Wiz. I really fuck with the tall dudes in hip hop, cause I'm a tall dude too. But um, I just go, I just fuck with like the cool ass old heads. You know what I'm saying? Just for like the cool ass personality, boss. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boss ass personality got the lingo to throw at you, and you just be like, oh, this nigga cool as hell. You feel me? Like those people, I really fuck with. Oh, somebody said who was my favorite rapper earlier. Alright, my favorite rapper right now in this specific moment. It's between two chains and this dude named Sada Baby and T Grizzly. But I'm put Sada Baby and T Grizzly in one boat because they both from Detroit and they managed by the same person. Then it's two chains. So yeah, those, that's my top three at this specific moment. But comment below any other questions. I might answer them, I might not. I don't know. Comment what you think about this video down below. Hit that thumbs up because it helps way more than you think. My battery's about to die, so I have to speed this up. Hit that subscribe button down there. And if you really mess with your boy, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get all my post notifications. And uh, yeah, man, it's been your boy D. White. Love, peace, hair grease with a dab of ranch. And I'm out.